Welcome to Peter S. Ogden. Peter S. Ogden Elementary is a PBIS school. PBIS stands for Positive Behavior Interventions and Supports. Our mission statement is to provide a positive, safe, responsible and respectful environment in which all students have the opportunity to become positive leaders in their school and community. Students at Peter S. Ogden follow three school rules. Be safe, be respectful, be responsible. What is safe? Safe means to be free from harm of any kind. Why is it important to be safe? All students have the right to feel safe at school. When our school is safe, students can focus on learning, being with friends, and feeling good about themselves. What is respectful? Respectful means to treat others the way you want to be treated. Why is it important to be respectful at school? Being kind and polite to all students and staff makes everyone feel welcome and part of our school community. Why is it important to be responsible at school? It is important to be responsible at school so that teachers and students know they can count on you to do the right thing. How do we act safe, respectful, and responsible on the bus? Be safe. Walk to the bus with your teacher. Stay on the side of the red line closest to the building. Enter and exit the bus holding the handrail. Once on the bus, walk to your seat and stay seated. Face forward and keep hands and feet to self. Only get up when the bus stops at your stop. Be respectful. Follow teacher and bus driver directions. Accept consequences for your actions. Use buddy voices. Wait your turn. Be responsible. High five the teacher before entering the bus. Use quiet voices and talk only to the person seated next to you. Keep the bus clean. Remember, Gracie, you should put that popcorn in your backpack to keep our bus clean. Thanks for reminding me. Keep the aisles clear. How do we act safe, respectful, and responsible in the hallways? Be safe. Walk single file down the right side of the hall. Keep hands, feet, and objects to self. Walk facing forward. Be respectful. Voices off. Follow adult directions. Hold the door open for the person behind you. Be responsible. Have a pass if you are not with a teacher. Go straight to your destination. How do we act safe, respectful, and responsible in the office? Be safe. Walk to the counter. Keep your hands and feet to yourself. If you're sitting in the office, keep all four legs of the chair on the ground and face the desk. Be respectful. Wait quietly for an adult. Enter only with permission from an adult. Use polite words and actions. Be responsible. Use the hall pass if your teacher sends you to the office. Do you have a hall pass? Voices off when walking through the office. How do we act safe, respectful, and responsible in the bathroom? Be safe. Keep your feet on the floor. Keep water in the sink. Wash your hands with soap. Be respectful. Put your paper towels in the garbage can. Give people privacy. Use quiet voices. Be responsible. Flush the toilet after use. Return to your classroom promptly. Use a bathroom pass. And tell an adult if supplies in the bathroom are out or if the bathroom needs to be cleaned. How do we act safe, respectful, and responsible in the Media Center? Be safe. Calm bodies, hands, feet, and other objects to self. Stay away from power cords. Be respectful. Use quiet voices. Use a placeholder when looking at a book. Respect property. 
be responsible. Return your books on time. Push chairs in. How do we act safe, respectful, and responsible during assembly? Be safe. Walk to the gym facing forward, single file. Keep your hands and feet to yourself. Be respectful. Voices off, listening to the speaker. Applaud appropriately. Use the cougar clap. Enter and exit quietly. Sit on your pockets. Be responsible. Eyes on the speaker. Follow the directions of the speaker. Wait for dismissal instructions. If other students are talking during the assembly, give the quiet sign. Leave all objects, pencils, erasers, etc. in your classroom. How do we act safe, respectful, and responsible in the computer lab? Be safe. Come in quietly. Sit at your assigned computer. Wait for instructions. Use the internet as your teacher has directed. Be respectful. Listen to your teacher's instructions. Hands on your computer only. Quietly complete tasks. Handle computers gently. Be responsible. Log in as instructed. Stay away from power cords. Log off before leaving the lab. Leave computer on unless directed otherwise. Place headphones back under the monitor. Push in your chair. Leave the computer lab the way you found it. How do we act safe, respectful, and responsible in the cafeteria? Be safe. Keep all food to self. Sit with feet on the floor, bottom on bench, and body facing table. Walk with your tray and hold tray with both hands. Be respectful. Allow anyone to sit next to you. <laughs> Can I sit here? Yes. Thank you. Quietly. Thank you. Thank you. Line okay. patiently. Be responsible. Get all utensils, milk, etc. when going through the lunch line. Clean your area and pick up anything that falls on the floor. Raise your hand when you're finished eating and wait to be excused. Follow recycling procedures. How to use the bathroom in the cafeteria during lunchtime. Step 1. Student raises hand as a fist and waits for adult. Step 2. After excused by adult, student gets a bathroom pass. Step 3. Student uses the bathroom. Step 4. Student returns bathroom pass. How do we act safe, respectful, and responsible in the gym bathroom? Once you have the pass, be safe. Go from class or the cafeteria directly into the bathroom and directly from the bathroom back to the classroom or the cafeteria. If you are coming from the portables, walk on the blacktop between class and the gym bathroom. If you are using the portables, always sign out in your classroom before you leave. Be respectful. Walk along the wall in the gym. Ignore students who may have PE or dance at that time. Put paper towels in garbage can. Report any issues in the bathroom immediately. Be responsible. Always use a bathroom pass. Only two students in the bathroom at a time. Hang the pass on the way into the bathroom. If two passes are hanging on the wall, the next person must wait quietly against the wall outside of the bathroom. Remember your pass when you leave and return the pass to your teacher. How do we act safe, respectful, and responsible on the playground? Be safe. Always walk to and from the playground. Run only on the grass equipment as intended. Keep your hands and feet to self. Be aware of games around you. 
leave dirt, rocks, bark chips on the ground. Be respectful. Follow adult directions. Include everyone in games. Accept consequences for your actions. Be responsible. Play games according to the posted rules. Return equipment to the cart. When the bell rings, pick up your coats, hats, and lunch boxes and line up. How do we act safe, respectful, and responsible on the play structure? Be safe. Always walk on the play structure. Keep hands and feet to self. Always hold on with both hands when going up and down the ladders. Slide on your bottom, feet first. Be respectful. Allow others to play with you. Share and take turns. Be responsible. Climb down carefully when leaving the play structure. One person at a time on the slide. How do we act safe, respectful, and responsible on the swing? Be safe. Stand to the side of the swing set. Hold on with both hands. Sit upright. Be respectful. Give everyone a turn. Count to 30 for each turn. Be responsible. Swing forward and backward only. Get off the swing carefully once it stops. How do we act safe, respectful, and responsible playing funnel ball? Toss the ball into the mouth of the funnel. Wait for it to exit through one of the holes. Each hole is marked with a number, one student per number. Catch the ball if it comes out of the number you are standing on. After you catch the ball, throw it back into the funnel. How do we act safe, respectful, and responsible playing tetherball? How to play tetherball. One player stands in each court. The player begins by tossing the ball into the air and hitting in any direction. The other player cannot hit the tether ball until it has passed on the second swing around the pole. The goal is to wind the rope completely around the tether ball in the direction of play. The person who wins stays in the court. The other person goes to the end of the line. The last person in line is the judge. Only the judge can call a foul. A player can win three times in a row, then must go to the back of the line. Fouls when playing tetherball. Striking the ball with any part of the body other than the hands or forearm. Holding or catching the ball during play. Touching the tetherball pole during play. Playing outside of the designated court. Arguing with the judge or poor sportsmanship. Blaming others, not taking turns, or refusing to get out. How do we act safe, respectful, and responsible Playing four square. Four players play four square. The server stands in box four inside of the triangle. The server must hit the ball to the player in box two. The players must hit the ball with an open hand in front of their body and always underhand. The ball bounces only one time in each square. The player hits the ball to another square. The last person in line is the judge. Only the judge can call a foul. A player can win three times in a row, then must go to the back of the line. How do we act safe, respectful, and responsible playing wall ball? Two players play wall ball. The player hits the ball with a closed hand. The ball must bounce within the yellow boundary lines. The ball can only bounce one time between the player and the wall. The last person in line is the judge. Only the judge can call a foul. A player can win three times in a row, then must go to the back of the line. Fouls when playing wall ball. The ball hits the yellow line. The ball bounces more than one time before it hits the wall. The ball bounces outside of the yellow boundary lines. 
arguing with the judge or poor sportsmanship, blaming others, not taking turns, or refusing to get out. How to be the judge. When playing wall ball, four square, tether ball, or funnel ball, the last person waiting in line is called the judge. The judge is watching for fouls during the game. The judge must know the rules and the fouls for each game. All students should read the rules and fouls on the game poster before playing the game. Only the judge can call a foul. If the judge calls a foul, the judge must tell the person they are out and why they are out. The judge should tell the player that is out, you are out because, in a polite tone of voice and state the reason that is listed on the game poster. The players and the other students in line do not argue with the judge. Arguing with the judge or any other form of poor sportsmanship will result in removal from the game for that recess.